Buckle up, my fellow space enthusiasts, because we're about to embark on a mind-bending journey through time, all the way back to the beginning. Today, we're unraveling the incredible chain of events that led to the existence of you, me, and every other amazing human on Earth. Get ready for a story wilder than science fiction, a cosmic dance where every step mattered. 13.8 billion years ago, everything we know exploded into existence in a fiery dance called the Big Bang. From that searing chaos, galaxies, stars, and eventually, the elements that make up life itself were born. Hydrogen, the fuel of stars, fused into heavier elements like carbon, oxygen, and iron, the building blocks of life. Along with those things, we also got the constants, like the speed of light, the number of dimensions in space, and how strong gravity is. If things had been just a little different, we might not be here today to wonder about that long ago explosion. It was a slow burn, but the stage was set. About 4.6 billion years ago, amidst the swirling dust and debris of a young solar system, the sun was born and our planet Earth coalesced. It was a violent birth, but soon water, brought by comets and asteroids, filled its basins. And in these warm, primordial oceans, the spark of life flickered for the first time. Simple single-celled organisms, fueled by the sun's energy, emerged, replicating and evolving in an epic dance of survival. The moon does more than light up our sky. This lunar companion played a crucial role, stabilizing Earth's axis and moderating its wobble. This stability provided the perfect rhythm for life to flourish, diversity to explode, and complex organisms to emerge. But we didn't always have a moon. The moon was born about 4.5 billion years ago when another planet called Theia crashed into the Earth. The other planet was destroyed in the process but debris that broke off from the Earth eventually coalesced into the Moon. Over millions of years, life's dance became more intricate. Single-celled organisms, through cooperation and chance mutations, started clumping together, forming multicellular colonies. These early symphonies of life, driven by the need for survival and resource acquisition, paved the way for the breathtaking diversity of plants and animals we see today. But Earth's atmosphere was still a far cry from what we breathe today. When the Earth was formed around 4.5 billion years ago, it had vastly different conditions. At that time, the Earth had a reducing atmosphere, consisting of carbon dioxide, methane, and water vapor. Enter the cyanobacteria. Around 2.7 billion years ago, a peculiar group of microbes known as cyanobacteria evolved that performed a miraculous feat, photosynthesis. They use sunlight to convert water and carbon dioxide into oxygen, slowly transforming the atmosphere and making it possible for complex life, like us, to evolve. For millions of years, dinosaurs dominated the Earth, their reign a testament to evolution's power but even the mightiest must fall. About 66 million years ago, a rogue asteroid slammed into Earth. This celestial impact triggered a mass extinction event, sending rock and dust into the atmosphere, cutting off the sunlight. This was bad news for dinosaurs, most of which were killed, along with over half of all life on Earth. But a certain small shrew-like mammal benefited from the dinosaur's absence. The descendants of this creature include the Rift Valley apes and all humans. In the aftermath of the asteroid impact, small mammals, previously overshadowed by the dinosaurs, found their chance. They diversified, adapted to new environments, and eventually gave rise to primates, our distant ancestors. But evolution doesn't happen in a vacuum. Climate change, a constant dancer in this cosmic choreography played a crucial role. Shifting temperatures and landscapes put pressure on these early primates, favoring intelligence, adaptability, and ultimately, the spark of human-like cognition. Our primate ancestors, pushed and pulled by the ever-changing climate, 
found themselves in a new landscape, the savanna. Here, trees were scarce, and survival demanded new strategies. Slowly, driven by the need for better visibility and access to food, some primates began to walk upright. This pivotal step, bipedalism, freed their hands for tool use and opened the door to further cognitive development. With bipedalism came a cascade of changes. Finding new sources of food, crafting tools, strategizing for survival, these mental gymnastics fostered the growth of the human brain. Every adaptation, every successful collaboration in this dance with the changing climate pushed the boundaries of our cognitive abilities. Over millions of years, through natural selection and adaptation, our lineage evolved from Australopithecus to Homo erectus and finally to Homo sapiens, our own species. Around 70,000 years ago, Homo sapiens, fueled by our ever-growing intelligence and adaptability, embarked on a daring journey out of Africa. We braved diverse climates, conquered new terrains, and faced countless challenges. This epic migration led to the diversification of our species and the flourishing of unique cultures across the globe. And here we are, standing on the shoulders of giants, the culmination of this cosmic dance. But evolution doesn't stop. We are still evolving, adapting to new challenges like climate change and technological advancements. The future is unwritten, a blank canvas waiting for the next brush strokes. What will we create? What will be the next chapter in the story of humanity?